What is up guys? Welcome to your 40 second physics lesson and in this lesson I want to talk to you guys about sound waves. Now of course I talked about sound waves before but I never really explained what they are, how they're created, and why they work. So remember that I said that sound is a wave. Now a wave, remember, is just something that transfers energy from a source to a destination. Like when Bob and Gina were holding the slinky, the slinky itself didn't get absorbed into Gina's body, it was just the energy that Bob was causing that transferred along the slinky into Gina. Now with sound it's a little bit different because there is no source like Bob and there is no destination like Gina. The source would be something like a guitar string and the destination would be something like our ears. So let me go ahead and draw or try to draw a guitar real quick. Okay, that kind of looks like a really messed up squash, but you know, that's okay, we can live with it. Actually, this is kind of looking like an alien that's about to get a rectal exam, but you know, not important. So here are the guitar strings, a beautiful looking guitar with some strings on it, and here is my head over here. Wow, I need to take an art class before I teach any more tutorials. And okay I'm happy that's me smiling so basically here's the guitar string and there's my head over here now whenever someone plucks a string on this guitar it's gonna create sound waves that are gonna ripple through the air right here and eventually reach my air I mean excuse me my ear Hmm, funny I said that so what exactly is happening when these sound waves are going through the air into my ear well, obviously there isn't a little slinky that's connected to the sound hole to my ear or else, you know, that would look, first of all, very weird. And second of all, you know, it just doesn't exist. So what is happening? What medium is transferring the energy from the guitar to my ear? Well, even though the air may look invisible to us, it's actually made up of billions and trillions of invisible molecules. Molecules like nitrogen, oxygen, there's probably some CO2 in there, maybe some water vapor, H2O. So basically, when a guitar plays, these strings right here are going to vibrate back and forth and push against these particles in the air. Now, these particles don't go flying into your head, of course, and cause you, you know, your head to start bleeding. They just bump into the particles next to them, and those bump into the particles next to them, and they eventually cause this ripple of air particles, and these molecules eventually reach your ear. Now, of course, whenever it gets to your ear, that's more biology and chemistry and less physics, but what your nerve signals in your ear is going to do is, they're going to notice the vibration and your brain's going to interpret it and understand that as sound. So if we took a closer look at what's going on, we would see something like this. We would have the source, which is the guitar, and we would have the destination, which is your ear, and remember that I said is sound works as a wave. So let's go ahead and take a look at this wave. We could graph it, something that looked like that, but in real life, Let's go ahead and take a look at the air particles. So whenever we have um, a ripple in the wave, the air particles would might be, you know, very compressed, like this, and like this, and in between the waves, they wouldn't be so compressed. So let me finish drawing my dots, and I don't know if this is going to show up on YouTube, but uh, let me make my brush size a little bigger, get the point across. All right, that's a pretty good drawing, if I don't say so myself. So basically what's going to happen is that these particles in all of these dots represent a molecule in the air like carbon, um, oxygen, nitrogen, CO2, something like that. All of these molecules in the air aren't moving that much. They're just vibrating slightly, causing them to bump into the molecules next to them and transfer energy from the guitar strings over here to your ear, which is over here. So that is what happens whenever you pluck a guitar and it makes that sound. That sound is the string of the guitar vibrating back and forth and whenever or each time it vibrates it pushes against the molecules in the air and causes them to compress like this. So that way whenever your ear picks up on these slight vibrations your brain know that that brain knows that that is actually sound and not just random vibrations. Now a cool fun fact, one last thing before I let you guys go, is you guys may be thinking what if 
you could take all of the molecules, all of the particles, out of the air. Would that mean that sound is impossible? Well, yes, it does. Scientists can create these things, and they actually call them vacuums, where they suck out all of the mo molecules in the air, no more carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, nothing. And whenever you try to have sound in this, there is no sound because there's nothing or no medium for the sound energy to travel through. So that's just a little fun fact, you know, not the basics of this tutorial. The tutorial is basically explaining how sound waves work. So hopefully you understand that. If you have any questions still, then just go ahead and ask me on my forum. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter.